Hello there folks, it's Ilya and today we're gonna do uh, our first ever unboxing video uh, on our channel and we're starting with Race to the North Pole, the second edition, which we got recently. It's by Playmore Games and uh, designers Joni Yusila and Tommy Vainikka. And we have the first edition as well, so um, after doing the unboxing, we will basically compare the first and the second edition, the components and such. But to compare the box cover and such, uh, right now it's there's a little bit darker image. I mean, the, the sky and such, and uh, the image itself is a little bit different. The situation here, and then it's basically almost the same box, the same art on the sides to compare. We have the first edition here. Uh, difference is it's a little bit lighter sky and such. Um, the Playmore Games logo is here on the side and it does get more attention. I mean, like, uh, you, you look at this logo, you see this logo here. It's blended into the artwork, which I like uh, quite a lot. As you can see, the Playmore uh, logo is under here, on the like painted on the flag. So it just um, blended into the artwork, which is really cool. I like it very much. So before further ado, let's just open the game. And I think I cracked it open already from here. Oh. Cool. Um, seems like the box itself has a same linen finish as the previous one. There's no difference in in the linen finish side here. Yeah, it's almost the same, maybe a little bit more linen-y. Linen I don't know if it's the real word, word but whatever. So, let's open the box. Um, the box is nice. I, I like how um, the logo of Race North Pole on the side is, is more colorful. Uh, if you compare it to this one, it doesn't really pop out when you put it on the side like that on your shelf. But here you will see it quite nicely. So that's that's a uh, good good thing about this one. Now here we have uh, different rule books. Uh, one is in English here, how to survive in the Arctic, where it's almost the same. It's in like, in like the comics like um, layout. It show you it shows you how to play the game. Uh, maybe there are some uh, rules corrections. I'm I'm quite sure some image corrections, uh, which will be. Probably good for the second edition. I think every publisher does that with the second edition and so on. It has two pages and here we have the components. So which is interesting that normally if um, if you do the rulebook layout you put the, uh, the list of components at the beginning and then the setup and then the rules themselves. And here um, the list of components is done as Im different images and uh, like it's, it's it's okay and of course done on the last page so here we go there's a um, Finnish version of the rulebook and Swedish version of the rulebook like Scandinavian edition here and here we have the reference sheets basically as I can understand this one is in oh the one side is in English, the other side is in Finnish. Then we have here, oh yeah, there's two times of English, so two sides of English and one in Finnish, one in Swedish. And it's a, like, a normal type of, I don't know, cardboard-like. So the um, board itself here on top, let's open it and see how it looks like. Yeah, it's basically the same. Um, I like that the board is. Uh, it's probably this. It should be the same quality. Um, linen finish as well here everywhere. And I think that maybe a little bit different colors, or it just looks like that. I don't know. I need to compare the first and second edition. We'll do that together in a video soon. But it's a sturdy board. I like that. Now let's go to this one. Uh, these are this, th these are basically the size of the boards, and I hope this time, basically, 
the problem I had uh, with a previous edition is that uh, when you put this one on top and then you put one board inside here uh, it doesn't go inside well so let's hope that it's been repaired so here we have that one that inner board basically which has the punches here which punches out quite well let's do one more time yeah punches out very well and in here you will uh, put the the glasses the plexiglass and then the board will rotate and the cracks will change and I like how they put the icon of throw it away you don't need this <laughs> but let's just just to be sure let's try to put it oh I see now it goes quite well inside it should go inside well yeah I think it goes inside better I just it's really hard to do it on on air but basically yeah, it goes inside quite well and stays put so that's really cool now we, what we have else here these are the punch boards and everything punches out quite nicely maybe oh no this one doesn't really oh just a little bit maybe not so good cut out but basically everything else punches out well and you have different tokens uh, yeah these are the tokens that will help you these are the tokens which are blank that you can write on yourself or put the image on yourself and trying to customize your game and there is the polar bear and uh, and the pits here and huskies and such and player boards as well and it's it's normal like I think it's two millimeter cardboard quite sturdy and then there's that center central uh, circle which you put in the center of the player board and then you put the axle on top so it punched out well now let's see what else do we have oh we have ah these are basically the blank ones but these are different like factions or, or something like that and this is the race this is the North Pole where you basically race it has the image on one side and the other side here lovely thick cardboard linen finish and these are the different Canadians uh, Santa Claus army <laughs> then we have Scottish and then we have um, uh, Eskimo, Antarctica like thing, and then we have penguins. Um, and some blank that you can basically create yourself. It's really cool. So, really thick cardboard. I like that. Now, there is a plexiglass. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the plexiglass. If you can take a look here closely, it's quite thick and you can see everything through it very well. I think it's maybe it's a little bit better or no, I don't know. Maybe it's the same and just, I don't know, but th these plexiglass things look cool. You see the, for the cracks and I hope there is more of them so you can basically have some replacements, I'm not sure. Um, this is the axle that will be put in the center of the board from where you go to the North Pole basically. Really cool thingy here. Yeah, cool piece. It, it, it will probably um, make uh, the center stay put better. Then uh, we have some Meeples, which are basically they're all the same, but as you can see, now it's like um, it's not even printed. It's it's the paint is cut out of here, so you have the plain wood showing. But 
but I like that. It's really cool uh, because the previous ones had the stickers and then they had the wrong type, like, I mean, they had the black stickers, something like that, and, at, and you couldn't see, <coughs> sorry, you couldn't see um, what are the symbols on the black and the, on the like darker meeples. Uh, but now they are like engraved, basically. And you can see everything, and there's different type of them. Then we have, this one should be a first player marker. Lovely one, really thick one, you see, beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then we have a polar bear, which will attack you if you're not careful. <laughs> Looks really cool. Cute. And then we have a bunch of cards which I will crack open. I'm sorry if it takes a little bit of time. It's, it's our first ever unboxing video, so. So, uh, these are the cards. And uh, the cards are the same quality. Um, sadly, they have borders. I would like to, the, but on the other hand, the, the thing is that there is no art basically on the cards. There's just movement cards, so. I like when there are no borders, if there is an art on the card, so the art will pop out more, it will be more beautiful without the borders, but here doesn't, I don't really care because it doesn't have any arts. And uh, they're like, like they are, normal, okay quality uh, cards, no linen finish, but I think uh, for, for the function of them, that's really, but on the other hand, the linen finish better in order to, for the cards to be kept fresh, more fresh. And these are different cards, and there's a lot of them. So, and there are some blank ones as well, uh, where you can put your symbols on and customize your game. So basically, this is everything in the box. Insert is like that. If you like it. Keep it, if not, you can throw it away. But uh, the inner box is quite sturdy as well, so that's the uh, second edition of Race to North Pole. So now let's go and compare the two games here. So when I looked into the differences, there aren't really many of them, except like, I mean, the, the art, the graphical layout of, of uh, cover and such is a little bit different, but these are the minor difference. The main difference is basically, in meeples and tokens so this first of all this is the first player token which is huge it has a sticker and i'm not really sure i like this but this one is for me much better it looks greater and <laughs> just a cool first player token no so um the second change is that it has this one is with the axle here uh, the second edition is with the axle that you put on this piece in the center, not basically like that, but almost like that. So now you have the center to pop out. It's more of a 3D element there. Oh, sorry. So um, there is also a polar bear token because the polar bear is the only one who can be moved as well. So when the, when the polar bear comes to the board, uh, all players can move him with the attack cards and attack other players. So basically he's a bad one, but at first there was a token, I'm gonna show it from the second edition punch board, but basically this is the token for the polar bear. And now it has a really cool meeple. And the last change, uh, which is really cool, so the meeples themselves, I already show you, these are like engraved versus the stickers. Uh, we got new stickers for them, so the stickers will, so the uh, the art, I mean, the symbols will pop out better, but still, the stickers aren't as good as engraved uh, symbols on the meeples themselves. So this is much better. So these are uh, the differences, the main differences of the second and first edition. So I like the components better, but basically everything else is the same component quality. 
and if you will spot the first edition uh, don't really don't be sad if you get the first edition because it's basically the same the second edition except I mean like maples but maybe you can grab an upgrade pack from play more games I think if you write them they will send you or something like that so uh, that was the unboxing of uh, the second edition of Race to North Pole, and I see you next time. Bye bye.